Tin Can Mailman is a little shop in downtown Honolulu that sells Hawaiian antiques and collectibles. If you're in the neighborhood, stop in and browse. You never know what you'll find in there. My name is Christopher Oswald. I'm at the Tin Can Mailman. The Tin Can Mailman originally opened in the 1970s in Arcata, California. As a result of a divorce, the man took his Tin Can Mailman to Kauai, opening it in the mid-1980s. It was in roughly five different locations, mostly Kapa'a side. He sold it in 2003, died in 2005, and the store moved here in November of 2009. The Tin Can Mailman Arcata store is still there to this very day. We're not related. We have different websites. We have different sales. We have their 100% books and I'm almost no books. I'm only about 20% books. We focus on Hawaiiana with an emphasis on Hawaiian paper or ephemera. Ephemera is something that's ephemeral or temporary that's not meant to last. So it would be like your posters, your menus, your brochures, your postcards, anything like that. And that's what we specialize in. We try to keep the store specifically Hawaiiana, but it always has a little bit of Asian that trickles in, and a little bit of mid-century, but not a whole lot. It's mostly just the hula girls, the Hawaiian aesthetic, focusing in the 40s and the 50s. There's an island called Niafu O'o Island, or Tin Can Island. It's a big caldera that there's nowhere to park your boat. And so they would take the mail and weld it shut in big tin biscuit cans and swim out to the passing ships. And the men that swam were the Tin Can Mailman. It was named by the original owner, his name was Will Malk. He had an affinity for things that were South Pacific, Tonga, Samoa, and Tahiti. I get some things online, I get some things at estate sales, I get some things from other dealers. I have something that's called Pickers. I have people looking for me on the mainland. We get a lot of our stuff not from Hawaii, and if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Nobody's going to have this secret cachet of a bunch of hula girls at their yard sale. It's going to be all the people that came over and bought a hula girl and took it home. So we go around and collect those hula girls and we bring them back here. I get excited over the vintage photographs. I like the tinted photographs of Hawaii. I like them to be around the 1940s. Those I like personally, but as far as, I mean, as far as like the rarest item, I mean, we've, we've had a lot of different ones through the years. I know I got to deal in a poster that was, I think like $17,000. It was something insane and that I helped deal in that. It's, I, and then postcards. I think our most expensive item we've ever sold was a set of Lily Ukulani postcards for $3,500 and it was her funeral. I get a lot of people that come in that like want to look at our photographs to look for that uncle or that aunt that was here during the 40s. It's only happened once so that's, I wish it could happen more often but there's a lot of people here in the 40s and typically I mean the photographs are all around the store framed. And then as far as like people coming in, I hear a lot about something that somebody has. So I always try to make them feel special and I tell them add a thousand dollars to it and that's what yours is worth. You have to know your, your marketing trends. Like I know that I'll sell more rare books in February than I will in, in June. So I need to make sure I have a lot of that product that I'm gonna sell in February. I sell a lot of Hula Girl Knotters in January. So I need to make sure that I have that product in January. So you have to have the product that meets the opportunity to take full advantage of that opportunity. So somebody could come in looking for hula girls and you only have one and you didn't pre-plan, you failed yourself. So you have to make sure that you, that you bulk up your trends and know your trends and know your sales, know what you can get for things. Because there's not a lot of stores that are like us, but we have an Instagram page and we have, our, we have a website and we have our Facebook page. And we get a lot of word of mouth. Like we're known in the movie industry, a lot of all the, uh, the prop people know us and the people from Hawaii Five O, those prop people know us. So we get a lot of word of mouth. We're really big in Australia and we're really, we're famous in Japan. Really famous in Japan. My favorite item right now is, is Honolulu Harlot because it was out of print for so long. This, I think it's out of copyright, so I could have actually sold the original to whoever is reprinting this. The first edition is typically around 300 depending on condition. There's one that there's one that comes a little bit before the first edition, that's typically around four, four or five hundred, but twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for a book that used to be three hundred, all about the brothel industry on Hotel Street in Honolulu, 1940s.